Hello everybody and welcome back to another GTA 5 LSP of our tutorial. Today we're going to be teaching you how to install X Scanner. What X Scanner is, it allows you to have a live police radio in the background and is absolutely amazing. I love having it in the background. It just makes my patrols feel that much more realistic. And also you get to hear what other agencies IRL are doing. So it's absolutely amazing. So uh, you are going to need Rage Native UI. I will make sure I leave everything that we're going to download linked down in the description for y'all. And then you're also going to have these menus that you're able to go through. And we're going to walk you through the menus once we get inside the game. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get into downloading this. And let's go and get started. So the very first thing that you're going to want to do is obviously go and pull up your GTA 5 main directory. So to get to your GTA 5 main directory, well, the way that I get to my GTA 5 main directory, if you have it through Steam, I go to Steam Library, Grand Theft Auto 5. I right click on it, Manage and Browse Local Files. That pulls up my GTA 5 main directory right here. And now we are going to go ahead and download this. Big shout out to Creator. We absolutely love you. Thank you so much for this. And uh, can't wait to see what you put out in the future. But let's go ahead and click download this file. We're going to click agree and download. And we're going to go right here. So you're going to want to download this one right here where it says full. Okay. So what you're going to do is going to click download. And that's going to go ahead and start downloading on your PC. Make sure you guys have something to open up your zip files. I use WinWare to open up my zip files. And you'll see that that is downloading right there. So let's go ahead and let that open up. So as soon as it's done downloading, it's going to open up for us right there. Perfect. So we're going to pull up our GTA 5 main directory. And we're going to take this one step at a time. So right here for the file that we just downloaded, what you want to do is go inside the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. And you want to go ahead and grab all these files right here. Just highlight all of them. Make sure you're not hovered over any folder when you drag them in here and make sure you're not clicked on any folder. If you are, just click over here to the side. Now, what we're going to do is drag and drop all these files over here to our GTA 5 main directory. So we'll let that go ahead and go through. And it's going to move it all over there. So it should take a couple seconds. Replace files and destination since I already have it. It's going to take a couple seconds while that is going through. What we are going to do, all right, perfect, it's done. So what we are going to do is go to X Scanner Pursuit. You're definitely going to need this to work with X Scanner. So go ahead and click download this file. Click agree and download. And we're going to go ahead and let that go through. So we have a couple seconds and perfect. So we're going to go and open that file up. And as soon as it is done downloading, we're going to pull up our GTA 5 main directory. And now we have that file. So you're going to see right here, we have the file that we need. So let's go ahead and X out of this. We're going to go to Grand Theft Auto 5, and we're going to take these three files and drag and drop into our GTA 5 main directory. So that's going to be the X scanner pursuit. So we're dragging and dropping in there. And once that, once that is done, we're going to go ahead and actually run over to Rage Native UI, and we're going to go ahead and download this here. So again, all the links will be down in the description. All you guys got to do is just follow my steps right here. Just click Rage Native UI. It'll instantly start downloading. Click Open File. And you're going to take only two of these files. Let me replace the files in destination for the X Scanner Pursuit, which it's going in right there. And then we're going to take these only these two files. Let me pull up my GTA 5 main directory. We'll let that go through. Perfect. It does take a couple seconds for it to go all the way through. And there we go. It is done. So let's go ahead and pull up Rage Native UI. And again, you only need these two files right here. You're going to drag and drop them over here to your GTA 5 main directory. It's going to go ahead and go in there. Fast you to replace it. That is fine, but you already have it. So you don't really have to replace it. But if it does request you to, that's the most updated Rage Native UI. So either way, it will work for you. So what we are going to do is get inside Grand Theft Auto 5. I'm going to show you how to pull the menu up and what you're going to have to do to uh, make your radio sound good. Have the right you know, tone to it. Have the uh, right volume to it. So all that good stuff. Let's jump into GTA 5. Right, so now that we're inside GTA 5, what I'm going to do is show you guys how to use X Scanner. X Scanner is a plugin, so for you to be able to use it, you have to load up all your plugins. Whether you go through the F4 menu, type in reload all plugins, and then force duty, or if you go to the station and just go on duty, however you go about it, um, just make sure that you load up all your plugins. So 
what we are going to be doing is going ahead and walking you guys through the menu that comes with X scanner. So if you hit F8 on your keyboard, as long as you have all your plugins loaded up, it should come up for you. So if you hit F8, you're going to see that there's a menu that interferes with it, which mine is call out interface interferes with X scanners um, menu. So what you want to do is just go down here and you'll see uh, F8 in yellow right there. If you scroll down to that and hit enter and then hit F2 on it and then hit backspace, it will change it over to F2 for you. So if I hit F2 now, it's gonna work perfectly. So whatever key that you wanna use that you don't use, that you wanna use for this menu, go ahead and click that in there for the menu key. Again, you have to hit enter, and then you have to hit whatever key you wanna use. So I hit F2, I'm gonna hit F2 again, bam. So my menu is up. So automatically save changes. Always make sure that that box is clicked. So you wanna put an X in that box because anytime that you change something, you're going to love it and it's the way that you want it. So you don't want to exit the game, come back in and everything's messed up and you have to rechange it. So automatically save changes. Let's go through police scanner. So there's a lot of stuff that you guys can, you know, go through here and set your cell. Um, intro sound. I like the intro the way that it is. So I'll let you guys hear it. So there are a bunch of different sounds through here. So there's a bunch of different sounds. I'm going to stick with intro because I like it outro also i'm gonna i'm gonna stick with the same outro which is that um you got disable reset on pause you got disable unneeded area reports um so that that's pretty cool to have because you don't really want to hear about any areas not in you know your jurisdiction or where you're patrolling um that's up to you if you want to put that in there disable landmarks that's you know dispatch putting out landmarks or something like that for your backup units putting out landmarks like you're next to the ron station at Polito. Stuff like that. I just don't always use landmarks, so I put X on that box. Um, you got spam um, control. So time until scanner accepts the exact same line to be played again. So that's up to you where you want to put it. I just leave it at default. Enable relay. You got relay in there. I disabled it. Um, well, actually, I enabled it. Sorry. And then you also got force timeout. Time until the scanner times out intercepting calls. So 10 seconds. So that's how I have mine set up. You also have background scanner right here, and this is where it's the most important, okay? So you got enable background scanner. Make sure you click X on that box. What that's going to do is have the scanner play a live radio for you so you can actually hear the police radio in the background, um, which is absolutely amazing. So volume, I keep it down. I don't keep it up too much because I stream a lot. So I was just doing Arkansas State Police yesterday, and uh, I stream a lot. So I don't want the, you know, the radio to be over my voice, but I still want to be able to hear it and want my... Uh, you know viewers to hear it so i make sure i put it up right there i don't use any boost um disable 3d audio disables 3d audio only use this if your sound card has problems with 3d audio so disable other vehicles you could disable um the background audio for other police cars so if you don't want to hear it from other police cars you could disable that that's how i play from the shoulder so the thing i'm gonna say about playing from the shoulder is um it's annoying um, it's one thing to have your comms going off while you're inside the vehicle. I mean, obviously you can hear it from your, your radio, but you can turn your radio down like your handheld and all that. So, um, playing from the shoulder is up to you. That's up to you. If you want to keep it on, I don't keep it on. Cause usually when I'm out of my vehicle, I'm dealing with the suspect or something. But if you put this on, this is what it will sound like. As long as it is going through. So you're going to hear it in the background. You just heard that little radio right there. The radio transmission uh, i'm gonna keep it on until uh until mm -hmm. we're done with this so right here you want to enable uh broadcastify you want to go ahead and enable that okay and that's going to allow the radio to play in the background so once you enable it so i'm gonna so you can hear the radio in the background from from my actual radio on my shoulder which is cool i like it but I don't want to keep hearing that noise. I usually keep it inside my vehicle. So I let you hear that. So I'm going to disable that. So I don't hear it no more. I'm only going to hear it from my vehicle, which is amazing. Um, so let's go through the menu some a little bit more. So enable broadcast file. So if you hit this right here, what it's going to do is it's going to start buffering and it's going to find a radio to use for you. If you go to stream ID right here and hit tab on your keyboard, they got top 50 broadcast. Okay. So you got Indianapolis, you got Cali Fire, uh, Portland, Cleveland, Clark County, Lincoln Police, Chester County Fire. Um, so depending on if you're doing a fire, you know, 
patrol or whatever you're doing, not a fire patrol, but you're running as the fire department or you're patrolling as law enforcement, you could go through here and click from fire EMS to just uh, police. So we got Buffalo police, fire and EMS. So you're hearing all three of them on the same channel, which that's a lot. And you got fire department, New York, Jackson County, York County, all that good stuff. So whatever one that you guys want to use, you will be able to uh, click on it. So let me find one that's really good. We got LAPD in here, so which I think I'm using LAPD. We also have Pittsburgh Police. We got Detroit Police Dispatch. Um, let's switch over to Detroit. So we'll put Detroit in here. What you want to do is let it buffer to 100%, and then it will start playing the audio. Um, so you got use broadcast regions and they enable swapping broadcast streams based on county. So like say if you're going out in the city, you'll switch up to the broad, uh, broadcast streams. Uh, I just, I, I don't mess with that. I just leave it the way that it is. And again, mm -hmm. I don't use play from shoulder. You are more than welcome to do it however you like it, but I like it just playing from my vehicle. So once this uh, goes through, what we're going to do is walk up to my vehicle and you guys will start hearing the radio as long as they are uh, broadcasting through it. So let's let that buffer. I want to make sure it's a hundred percent before I do this. And you guys will see it right there. Just buffering right here. And it's almost a hundred percent. Perfect. So it is going through. So look, you're not hearing anything from my radio right now. Okay. Obviously I'm outside the vehicle. Most likely I'll be on a traffic stop dealing with someone, stuff like that. Um, now if I walk up to my vehicle, sometimes when you get closer to your vehicle, you're going to start hearing the uh, radio a lot louder. So, um, let me see if I hop in, let's wait for, um, them to go ahead and play something through the radio. So you won't hear it constantly. It just depends on how busy they are in Detroit right now. So I'm not really hearing much from Detroit, but you will hear it in the background, especially when I'm going throughout my patrols. But hopefully it'll start playing and then I'll exit out of the vehicle and let you guys hear like how the sound, like the volume goes down as I get away from the vehicle, which is amazing. I love it. So you guys just heard that right there. So they had a little, uh, they broadcast it. And if you have the door open, you can hear it a little bit better too, which is amazing. But you can hear it. It's a little bit quieter since I'm away from my vehicle, like stepped out of my vehicle. But if I go inside my vehicle, it's a lot louder, which is absolutely amazing. I love that. I love that feature. It's just so realistic. Um, but there you guys go. You now have X scanner inside your game. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for coming by and watching. Hopefully you all enjoy this and hopefully this helped every single one of you out. We'll see you all in the next one. Y'all stay blessed. Stay safe out there. And uh, if you could do me that one favor, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, help us reach 100,000 subscribers by hitting that subscribe button. We'll see you all in the next one. Stay blessed. Stay safe out there. Peace.